Good morning, and thanks so much for being here. As you know, I'm Seth, and I am encouraged to just pray with you this morning. I hope that you've had a great week and that God has been praised in and throughout your life. I know this is that he's doing a new thing within me, and I believe he's doing that new thing is because I desire more for him. I want to just talk to you all to, uh, just a little bit today about let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. That's one of the phrases that I told the staff um, that I get the opportunity to manage there at the courtyard is that it's 2024 and I want more from you, right? It's 2024 more. I want more from you. Not only do I want more from you, but I want you to go deeper. I want you to learn more. I want you to challenge yourself. I want you to be who I feel God has called you to be, even as a manager. But the reality of that is, is that it's going to cost you something. And that took my mind back as I was thinking this morning, and I haven't gone back to this thought in a very long time. See something on my head right there. Uh, (laughs) But I went back to the military and when I was in boot camp in the Marines. And from that perspective, what happened was, is that we had swim week. Swim week is when you qualify for your swim test in that particular week and you learn just about the water and how to tread and how to do this and put on your gear and take your rifle in the water and and really begin to understand that you can float and that you have to stay above water. But one thing I noticed in that time is that it was always done in the deep. So it was done in deep water. Why? It's because you have to go deeper in order to challenge yourself. If we had all that weight on our pack and all our rifle and all of the things that we did, we couldn't trade water simply by walking in the water, but we had to go deeper. And that reminded me of the scripture here in Philippians 3, 10 uh, through 14, but I'm going to probably skip a couple verses, but here it is. Paul uh, is speaking here. It says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Verse 13 through 14. Brother, I count myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Now to know a little bit about Paul in this way is that you, I had to do just my thought and the research on this guy. And this is an incredible thing because this guy was a murderer of Christians. And when he was on his way to Damascus, he was on the road, really focused on going to persecute other Christians. But on his way, he was blinded by a light and that light was Jesus. And Jesus says, he called him Saul. He said, Saul, because that was his name before Paul. He said, Saul, why persecute me? And Paul was like, what? You know, what's going on here? And from that perspective, he began to... Uh, he was blind. And as he was blind, uh, his the folks that was with him, uh, his crew led him into the city. And Ananias, I believe, was the one that was tasked with really prophesying to this man and letting him know that, you know, this was Jesus and God had called him to the ministry, essentially. But I love about Paul is this, is that once he found out who he was, once he gained his eyesight back, this guy went all in. He said, you know what? I'm going to preach the word. I'm going to serve God. I'm going to go deeper. And he encourages us, He even in the scripture, right? Uh, he said, verse 14, I press. In order for us to get more in 24, in order for us to go deeper, in order for us to maximize the things that we need to maximize this year, we're going to have to press forward. We're going to have to press forward in some difficult times. We're going to have to press forward in some things that we don't want to do. But I want to encourage you that Jesus is with you. He's with you. So since he's with you, you can be encouraged knowing this, that he won't leave you nor forsake you. Man, that's good news this morning. And so as we go before the throne of grace today, I want to go forward in that thought. Let's go 
deeper. Father God, we thank you. We praise and bless your name again for another opportunity. God, we don't take it for granted how you have given us strength, that you've given us life. God, that you have been abundant to us today, God. Even as I think, yes, oh God, I feel your presence already. As I go back over this week, I think about the God that I serve, that even when I didn't know what I was doing, you were right there. Even when I felt I knew um, how to fix something, you were right there. And God, you helped me along the way. God, even when I thought I knew what I was talking about, even in my relationship with my wife, oh God, you were right there. Even when I thought I was doing uh, what was right on the job in coaching and counseling, you were right there this week, oh God. So God, I praise you for the things that you are done this week, God, that you brought me through this week, oh God. You have blessed this week, oh God. And God, even as I think about that, God, I just begin to thank you because I know I could not have done it on my own. Listen, when I think about this week, I know I could not have done it on my own. I don't have that type of power. I don't have that type of strength to really do something on my own. This is the grace of God. So God, I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your spirit. I thank you for your peace. I thank you for salvation. Glory to God. I thank you for your presence even now. God, I pray today that you would not only use your vessel, oh God, but Lord, that you will inspire us, oh God, to go deeper in you. God, to go deeper in our salvation. God, you saved us. You've given us how and what to do, oh God. Help us, Lord Jesus, to set time aside for you to go just a little bit further today to read just one more scripture, God, to have one more quiet time with you, to pray just a little bit longer on this day. God, we aim to please you, but outside of us wanting to please you, God, we want more from you. God, we want to press towards the mark of the high calling. God, we want your presence, God. We want to know you in your resurrection. We want to understand why you did what you did just for us, oh God. So God, even as our friend Paul, oh God, took on this thought of just knowing you more, God, help us to quicken our hearts to be just like that. God, I pray today that you won't allow us to grow weary in the things that we're doing well, but God, that you will even encourage us along that way when we feel like nobody's looking. Yes, oh God. When we feel as though we want to throw in the towel because we tried it again and again. When we feel as though you've applied for the job, oh God, that we've applied and that we didn't hear back, oh God. Or we're, we're talking to our spouse, oh God. We're talking to friends and we, we don't hear from you, oh God. Help us not to grow weary. But help us to go deeper, God. Help us to lean further into you, God. You said if we draw close, you will draw close. God, help us to draw close today. God, I pray that even in those frustrations, God, that we would not only go deeper, oh God, but we will keep our minds stayed in upon you. God, I'm often reminded of when there's disagreements, oh God, that I'm so uh, involved in sometimes, whether that's at the job or at home, oh God, you always quicken me to quiet my spirit in you. You always give me to pause and, and to pray, oh God, before I proceed. Lord, I thank you for that. But God, I pray even today, yesterday I may have gone through it, but I need your presence today. I need renewed strength today. So God, I pray today that you will do it again, oh God that you will give me a hunger and a thirst, oh God. Lord, you don't have to strike me blind to, for me to want to have more of you, God, for me to know you more. But God, empower me today, oh God, to comprehend the scriptures. I hear that a lot, even when uh, I talk to other people, oh God, that the scripture is so complex, God. I pray that we will just continue to discover new commentary. And as we discover that new commentary, God, that we will be encouraged through your word. God, you left this word for us to be encouraged, oh God, but we have to read it. 
that's what you show me even on this morning is that it's for me to understand what Paul was talking about for his desire to serve you, oh God. He had to be called into the deep. He had to go deeper, oh God. So, Lord, I pray today that this challenge of going deeper, that you won't let us rest until what? Until we go deeper in you, oh God. That you won't answer the prayer until we go what? deeper, oh God, that you won't work out the situation until we do what? Go deeper. Let's go deeper, people of God. God wants us to depend on him, not ourselves, not in the things that we can do, not in our own abilities or even man's ability. God wants us to depend upon him. Can we do that today? Lord, I just thank you for this time. I thank you for this prayer that you've given us. And Lord, even as we Focus on going deeper today, oh God. God, I pray that you will encourage us to be more than conquerors. That we will feel your presence, oh God, when we go and exercise this, this deepness in you, oh God. Then when we read just one more scripture than we read yesterday, that we will feel your manifestation. Have your way today, God. Have your way in and through us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Well, I've given you what God has given me. It's time for us to go deeper. And the only way that we can go deeper is that we got to get in the deep water. We got to go. And if you go, I believe this, that God will meet you there. Actually, he'll beat you there. He'll be in the water with you simply because you are giving up all to him. Well, be encouraged today. Not only having a great day, but even as we close out this month of February this week, be encouraged that God can do anything. But Phil, have a great day today.